Fold it a little bit down, but don't. Right, like that. Perfect. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Um, hi, this is Chef Besser here, and today we'll be making delicious banana bread. Bon appetit. Hello. This is Chef Ezra here, and today we have a special guest, Haven. She's right here, and uh, we hope you like this video. This is Chef Ezra, and yeah, today we're going to make banana bread. So let's do step one. Wash our hands. Come on, Haven. So today we have some flour, baking so so I think um salt and baking powder, and we're gonna sift them together with this. Randy, four cups of flour. Make sure to fill it all up and make it flat, all of it. Oh, too much. We're going to do one teaspoon of salt. Ah, good. I think that was more than we were supposed to do. Okay, now we're going to sift it all down. I don't know why we have to sift it, but that's I just some start with this recipe. I just some is coming out. I know, lots of it. Mm-hmm. Some of it, all of it is pretty much going in the air. That's what's making it like smash into little pieces. Um, so now we're gonna put the dry ingredients aside. And now we'll move on to the wet ingredients. Okay, I'm just gonna mash up some overripe bananas. They're actually overripe, that's why they're black. It gives you the perfect taste. So, while Haven's mashing the bananas, mash, 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 <laughs> um, I'm gonna do uh, four cups, of, two cups of sugar, which is for these. And one uh, cup of butter. Done. Oh, I want some brown sugar. Just did it adding like pretty much all of it to the recipe. Wait, whoa, those are big clumps. I'm just gonna smoosh these. Kind of like draining. Why are you licking it? Because your knees doesn't hurt Now we're gonna cream the butter and the sugar together. You can either use a fork or a mixer. Maybe let's cut it a little bit first. A 
Okay, that's enough. <laughs> what? Okay, this is weird. I can't believe it. We'll have to use this. What the? Oh, I can't get this. This? What the? Push it in, put it in, and now mix it in. It sure looks weird to me. Well, now we're gonna put in the dry ingredients. Plop it in. Wow. Does it look good and it's also well mixed? The next step is just to put in the pans. Oh, this is actually kind of sticky. I should touch it with my hand. So, now we're going to clean these pans out. Yep. Mm, do a little bit of coconut oil. That actually looks like it's a lot. Make sure to get it all around. This helps it not stick to the pan. And just to let you know, it's coconut oil. Just look at this one right here. Okay. Now for the next one. Oh. 
Okay, we're putting it in. Now it's time to put these in the oven for one hour. Now I'm going to do my favorite part, which is the spoon. In the bowl. After an hour in the oven, we put, we take it out, put a toothpick in it. If it comes out clean, it's ready. It's ready. Let's see how delicious it is. Alright, Why Mom. don't you just eat it? Um, hope you like this. All I, you have to do is comment down below how good it is. If you try the recipe, it's delicious. And yeah, bye.